Hi, we got a new e-bike from Sohamo. This is the S3 Foley bike. Let's do the unboxing. Let's do this. A lot of zip ties here. Very well packaged. I like that. Came everything very secure. We have the rack here and the tail light. We have two fenders right here. Nice front and rear fenders. We have the seat. Looks normal. Just like any other seat. Oh, the uh, the stand is not installed, so we're gonna have to install that. The seat post right here, it's different. I never seen one like this. What I'm intrigued is these tires. They are not your typical four inch tires. These are 20 inch by three inch. We also have the pedals. We, I assume we have a charger here. And then we have some uh, a disc brake, 160 millimeters. The disc brake the charger is very small, so this is a two amp charger. It's gonna be a bit slow to charge this battery because this is a huge 20 amp battery. So in the meantime, while I'm putting this together, I'm gonna take off the battery, put it off, pull it out. This is a big battery. 48 volt, 20 amp hour, 960 watt hours battery. This plug right here is the one that connects to the bike. Look at that. It's kind of like uh, those plugs that we use in computers and stuff. That is weird, I've never seen that before. So they do include all the tools necessary for you to put together this bike. I'm impressed. It's really nice. All right, so let's take this bike for a spin. We're going to go into this bridge. It's going to get real loud. Oh yeah. Now the brakes so far, they feel very powerful. They don't make a lot of noise. Actually, they don't make any noise at all. Let's uh, test the top speed of this bike using the power level of system five and pedals. Let's see how it goes. Whoa! Feels solid! 24 miles per hour! And this little bike feels very cool. Now let's see how it feels if we just pedal, right? We're not using any power assistant, let's just pedal. Yes, you can pedal. One thing I, I noticed about this bike is that it's not that heavy. It is much lighter than other e-bikes that I have reviewed. So if you want to pedal, you can absolutely do that as well. But uh, let me get some power assistant. Nothing. I'm going eight miles per hour. Power assistant level one doesn't feel anything. Level two, um, just a little tiny bit. Level three, here we go. That's what I noticed the difference. Level three, change gear, level five. I'm going 14 miles per hour. Feels good. Let's do level four. Okay. Yeah, I can feel that. Let's change the gear. Level six. Level seven. Okay, now we're going. Now we're talking. 21 miles per hour. And then level five, this is gonna go to 24 miles per hour. That's about it. This is fantastic for this kind of bike. Now I wanted to, to try how it feels with uh, throttle only. So let's do throttle only. Why does it top speed? Let's go. No pedaling, nothing, just throttle only. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 miles per hour, pedal only. Nice. I finally have this bike put together. 
it took me a little longer than usual because there's some parts that um, I needed to assembly for example the front disc brake I usually don't have to do that but in this bike you have to assemble the front disc brake it's 160 millimeters and same with the rear but usually have to don't have to do that also the saddle I had to put together the saddle and what else uh, well the rest of the parts are just usual like the pedals the uh, handlebars oh also the rear rack normally the rear racks are already pre-installed but in this case it wasn't so it took me around an hour to put everything together it, they include every everything that you need all the tools necessary it's easy it's just a little bit more time consuming now this uh, this little saddle to pull out the battery you have to move the saddle just like that which is something new to me i've seen it before but i never had one before like that and another thing that i like about this battery not only that it's 20 amp hour battery so it's going to last you way much longer than 14 amp hour batteries but you can also turn this off so if you turn this off then you cannot turn on the bike you see so basically the keys actually do work as a security mechanism you have to turn it on in order for you to turn on the bike which is something that is i feel like every single e-bike should have this kind of feature just for security measures you know what else um the front suspension there is front fork suspension but i noticed that the throttle the, the throttle is very very short i was going through some bumps right now and i can feel that it will hit the limiter right here so it's a little bit short maybe it's my weight maybe for you it's not the problem but i noticed that let's check out the uh, the headlights because it does have headlight and tail light you know for you to turn on the headlights you have to press power again and there it is there it is four leds look very bright and there's also a tail light right here another thing i noticed is that it also works as a brake light i don't know if you guys can see it but there's also a brake light so which it's really nice that they include those little features i mean for the price of this bike it's about seven or eight hundred dollars i'm going to post the price right here in this uh, video but it's such a great deal you know now the display is very small and it's not that bright so honestly it was a little bit hard for me to see during daylight right now it's a little bit overcast and i still have some problems to see it but it's very easy to read so to turn on off off and on the headlights and taillights just press power button again and then over here has the m this you can change the power assistance so it has five different power assistant levels i usually ride with level three and then if you press and hold m then you change from the odometer to the trip that you have right now so right now i have five miles so far and then if you want to go back to the trip it says zero miles which is weird i actually rode four miles right now but anyways if you want to go to the p settings p settings you have to press and hold both of this button and then it says p1 and then p2 and that's about it oh there you go so you have to press and hold the power button to go back again the throttle is right here uh on the left side which i normally yeah this is where you normally have it but i noticed that if you have it on power system level zero there is no throttle you have to have at least one power assistant turned on in order for you to use the throttle the brake systems ah, these are mechanical they work fine the rear one started to make some noise earlier just when i was riding but it's something that i can easily fix i kind of do like mechanical brakes because they're so easy to maintenance for maintenance but i do prefer a hydraulic brake system because they're just so much better so much powerful and there's a shimano uh i call it transmission but it's just gears you know seven different gears right here there's also a shimano derailleur as well it works fine 
One thing I noticed too is that the battery is a little bit loose. I'm gonna need to tighten it up a little bit. I noticed they include some straps, so I'm going to have to use them because it is a little loose, and when you're riding, you can feel, you can hear that rattle. They include two fenders, front and rear, but I only install the front. I usually don't like to install the rear fender, but it's optional. You can do that. One thing I noticed is that this uh, this handlebar is a little bit narrow. So when you're riding, I don't know, it feels a little weird. I usually like to have a little bit more wider handlebars, better handling. But that's how it is with these folding bikes. So if you like to use the folding mechanism, let's just fold the handlebars first. Boom, they go like that. And then right here in the middle, we open this up and then we start folding the bike like this. Like this. There you go. Just like that. And then you can just take it with you. You know, the pedals on the way, they're always on the way. Now the cool thing about this bike, there you go. Now the cool thing about this bike is that it's not that heavy compared to other e-bikes. This is actually not that heavy. So you can easily carry it like this. Now let's uh, unfold it like that first and to lock it with this one and then this one will lock it and that's it you are set to go my friend oh one last thing there's also a horn right here but we need to turn on the bike first and then use the horn. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, so first of all, let me tell you something. This bike is not for top speed. You know, it runs up 24 miles per hour, which is not bad at all. But if you want something that is top speed, this is not it. Comfort, it's okay. The seat is it's comfortable. Um, probably be able to change the seat, but I need to see something special that will be useful because I need to pull up the seat in order for me to remove the battery the battery is what I'm surprised the most 20 amp hour battery in this little bike it seems pretty nice I wish I can have more bikes like this big batteries that means that you can go further you can enjoy more of the uh, riding your bike out outside but uh, this is something that I like about this bike a lot all right, so now we're going to do a hill climbing test and look at this hill is very steep Oh my god, I don't even know if he's gonna make it, but uh, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna do level I don't know level three and then we're gonna pedal. All right, so let's get a little bit of speed and momentum let's wait for this car to pass by and Let's go for it Ooh, you can already feel that. Okay, okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's the, it is helping me. Eight miles per hour. I do feel like I have to pedal more than usual. There you go. I was able to go up in the hill. I mean, just thinking that I weigh 240 pounds in this little e-bike, I probably look like Koopa Troopa in riding this little bike. But I was able to go uphill, you know? Now let's go into this uphill. It's gonna be a tough one because I'm gonna go up and also turn at the same time. Let's see how it handles. Now I'm gonna use a throttle to see if we can get the maximum power. And well, it feels about the same to be honest, but it's super easy. I mean, I had some other e bikes with 750 watt motor that could not get up here in this hill. I just couldn't do it. So, yeah. I'm surprised that it has the power to go up and handle it. 
like a boss. Finally, we're gonna do the ultimate test on the brakes. I'm gonna go speed up to 25, 26 miles per hour. 26, 27. Yeah, 28 miles per hour. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, these mechanical brakes, they make a little bit of noise, but they work. They're solid. They work good. I like that. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with this e-bike. I mean, for the price, less than a thousand dollars, you're getting a folding e-bike with a 20 amp power battery, uh, 750 watt motors. I didn't talk about much about the motor. This is a hub motor, 750 watts and 80 newton meters of torque power, which is extremely good for this kind of e-bike. I mean, like I mentioned before, this e-bike is so lightweight, much, much lighter than any other e-bikes that I review which I like and also I really like the switch combination right here makes it a lot harder for someone to steal your bike a little bit more security they also include a rear rack tail light with brake headlight I mean all these features for less than a thousand dollars I feel like this is a really good option of course I also feel like they're cutting some corners in order for you to save some money the brakes they're not that great you know, I, these are mechanical brakes. I much rather have um, hydraulic brakes. Also, the tires, the three inch tires, they ride very well, but I feel like the four inch tires, they offer you more comfort. The uh, front suspension, it's nice to have front suspension, but the travel is so short. I ended up like reaching the limiter on the, tr on the uh, front suspension. So, like I said, they're cutting some corners for you to save some money. But if you're in an entry level, you're looking for starting to ride an e-bike and you want something that folds, that has enough power to go uphill, a uh, bigger battery that makes you go even longer rides, this is it. This is, this is such a great option. So, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. If you guys have any questions, also comment down below and I'll be happy to answer some of your questions. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.